We're making more mini cakes. My name is Lori and you are watching The Icing Artist. We got so many requests to make mini versions of our food cake, especially our lollipops, so that's what we're doing. So to get started, I made one batch of my thick vanilla cake batter and just poured that into a square pan. We're gonna be making one big cake, but lots of mini cakes from this one big one. I just level off the top of that and then use my circle cutters to cut out my little mini cakes. First one is going to be for our lollipops. That's a little bit bigger of a circle. For my popsicle, I just made a little paper template because free handing that sounded like a nightmare. And then I'm just going to use my template and a small piping tip to cut out those little bark marks out of the popsicle. Look like something, you know, bit it. And lastly, for that ice cream sundae, I just carved down the bottom so it's a little bit more tapered. For this scoop, because we're going to make the scoop out of cake, I just carved that in kind of like a half dome shape. And that is it. Our cakes are carved and we're ready to decorate. Now I'm going to start off with our lollipop cake. I just put a skewer and kind of hammered that through. This is to keep these cakes from wobbling around. If you guys have seen our other animal cake videos, I will put a link right here. That is the easiest way to stop them from wobbling around the table and you can actually ice them. Then I'm just gonna give my cakes a nice little crumb coat with my buttercream icing. Once I'm almost finished, I'm just going to pull that skewer out and then kind of finish off the top of that cake. Now, for this lollipop pattern, we are going to need a lot of the skinny little logs. I made the giant one and it was completely epic. If you guys have seen that video, I loved it. So to make these skinny little logs, I'm actually gonna use my clay extruder and just extrude all of those skinny little logs of fondant. But because this takes a little while, you do not want your fondant to dry out because that is going to be a nightmare when you go to twist them. So in between kind of extruding each one, I just wrap those in cellophane and that's going to keep my fondant from drying out. An hour later, I had all of the colors. This shit, no, it didn't take that long. <laughs> but it did take a little while. But once I finally had all the colors, I'm going to kind of smush them together into like one smushed log and then roll that to it's like a tight rope and not just like these smushy colors. And I just twisted that until it was like a beautiful spiral, cut each end on an angle. And now it is time to just wrap that up into a little lollipop right on top of our cake. Once I ran out of, you know, this colored swirl, I just made another one and joined it right on that angle bit and you'll never see that joint. And then to make sure everything was nice and flat and smooth, I just used my fondant smoother, rubbed that over the top and sides and it kind of just pushed everything in together. Finally, for that lollipop stick, I literally cut the stick off of a lollipop and then just stuck that right in the cake. If you guys haven't seen them, I have made big versions of all these like little cakes. So you guys can just click the eye and check those out. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, man, click that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell. Next up, we're gonna make that popsicle. Now the big version of this one was pink, but because we're making pink sundae, I thought, you know, let's make a creamsicle. So I crumb coated it the exact same way as I did my lollipop. The bite marks is kind of tricky with getting the icing in there, but don't worry because we can really recreate those bite marks as soon as we get the fondant on. As for the fondant, I just rolled out my orange fondant and kind of draped that over my popsicle shape, smoothed out my hands, and then finished smoothing out with my fondant smoother to get it, you know, nice and smooth. But for those bite marks, like I promised, we need to like redefine them. So I'm going to use the same piping tip I did to cut them and kind of just like push that into the bite and that's going to really kind of create that shape for me. Now where that bite's missing, I want it to reveal a delicious layer of ice cream right in the middle. So I just rolled out some thin white fondant and cut out a little rectangle and kind of pieced that right into my bite. I am aware that cream schools don't have melted chocolate and sprinkles, but this was looking kind of boring so I'm going to put melted chocolate drips and sprinkles on it. So I just rolled out some white fondant and cut those like really drippy shapes using my little knife. I added water all around the top of my cake except around the bite. Then I draped those drips right on top of the cake. Once that was nice and stuck, I just took my knife and then trimmed off around the bite. And because there was no water sticking it down, you can just pick it right off. Because this cake is so mini, there was no like mini sprinkles. So I just took regular sprinkles and kind of cut them and placed those all along the top, sticking them with a little bit of gel paste. Now, if you had any popsicle sticks, this would be a great use of popsicle sticks, but I did not and didn't feel like going to the dollar store, so I made mine out of fondant, just stuck some flour wire in that, and that's gonna hold that right up in the cake. And lastly, for that ice cream sundae, I just come coated that with my pink buttercream icing, rolled out a strip of ivory fondant, and I'm just gonna wrap that right around the sides. The end I made a little bit curved, so it looks like a curved waffle cone. Once I got the sides all smooth, I just used my fingers and pinched up the ends, so the ends look a little bit more ruffled. I then use the back of my knife to impress kind of a diamond pattern going all the way around the sides. You just kind of go angle and press in going all the way around. And for my big scoop of strawberry icing right on top, I just stuck that little dome cake. But 
because mini cakes are so tiny and this spatula is huge in comparison, I use this little tiny spatula to ice the top of that scoop. And it's okay if this does not look perfect because you want it to kind of look like a rough scoop. And then just like a popsicle, we're gonna create a chocolate drip, except this time a milk chocolate drip. So I just cut that out and drip that right on top of my scoop. And because we're making a classic sundae, of course it needs a cherry. I just rolled out a little ball of red fondant, made a tiny, the tiniest little green stem, stuck that right in, added a beautiful swirl of buttercream whipped cream right on top of our sundae and topped that off with a cherry. Thank you so much to everybody who requested these food cakes. I loved making them, especially the lollipops, for sure my favorite. And of course, if you guys want me to miniaturize any of my other cakes, leave those down in the comment section below because I would love to miniaturize them. Also, I would absolutely love if you guys could follow me over on Instagram. I'm posting new things every day behind the scenes and pictures and everything. And I will leave all those links down below in the description. Of course, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else in the cake. Bye guys.